Hello, Lama. How do we deal with the feelings of sadness when someone is mean to us? When someone is mean to you, you just walk away. You are not in a prison anyway. You know, so if someone is mean to you and disrespectful to you and harmful to you, and then, you know, if you still have a capacity, make a statement that that person has been mean to you, therefore you left. You know, so, of course, you cannot, uh, I'm not saying that, how to say, I'm not saying that, you know, I understand everything about your circumstance, but if someone is disrespectful to you and mean to you, then you are not in the prison anyway, so you can just uh, take a walk and pack your things and leave, you know, so, yeah, so that's that. But, uh, you know, in order to overcome with your sadness and feelings, you need to practice Dharma. You know, and you need to use that opportunity to practice Dharma. You know, the sadness, uh, an unfortunate event, is a great um, opportunity to practice Dharma because then you will have a much more deeper understanding. The excuse from your ego, you know, appear to be less impact when there's an unfortunate event. When there's an unfortunate event and then when you practice Dharma, if you initiate yourself more into a Dharma practice, I'm not saying, oh, I'm Kali Rinpoche and you should receive teaching from me, empowerment from me, I'm great master, you should come to me. I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say is that try to meet the different masters that you feel close to, that you feel connected to, you know. And then the most important matter is that you you know, with all the great sadness and event that you have occurred, try to use that to, how do I say, try to use that to encourage yourself into Dharma. And then even the Dharma will benefit you even more. You know, it will not leave you with the, with the how do I say, with the no emotion at all. Don't worry about that. Our emotion will be still there. Our habits will be still there. I'm just saying that that opportunity when there's a, unfortunate event and such sadness event that is a great moment to practice dharma and to receive the teachings of the dharma because in that moment your illusion of the mind is less impact in your decision you know mindset and then also it has a less impact from your own ego as well and from your own ignorance as well so that is a great moment because when you are when you are in the state of the heaven you know you don't realize anything until your clothes is smelling, until your tree is dying, you know, until you see that it is too late and until you see uh, where your next life is going to be, you know. So, uh, so when we have this kind of circumstance, you know, as sad as we may be, such unfortunate we may see ourselves in, but try to understand that this is a good opportunity to practice Dharma because the Dharma, teachings of the Lord Buddha, is the opposite of the ignorance and the opposite of the illusion and opposite of the, you know, how do I say, the ignorance as well. So therefore, try to utilize that moment and to initiate yourself with a greater path. You know, so that's that. Because I will tell you something, you know, when I face some difficult things in my life in general and sometimes it gave me a lot of sadness and then sadness unhappiness and then when i do my six arm mahakala practice uh, you know and or our lokitishura practice and then i simply say you know i make a prayer for you and then please you know uh, empower me with the blessings and i have no expectation in return either you know so keeping the prayer is very simple and then continue to practice Dharma with your, with your prayers and with your daily practice. So I think that is an important matter.